Hey guys, we are sitting out for another adventure and we just got through with church. Um, just waiting for, for Sean. Um, Harrison's back here and as you see it looks a little different. Usually we have a big mattress sticking out but we've got our trifold mattress now so it's a little bit more compact but um, I don't feel 100%. I wish I felt a little bit better but it's okay. It's like 90 degrees. It feels like it's 90 degrees but it's going to be about 20 degrees hopefully less when we get to the mountains. We only have about an hour 15 minute drive, hour and 30 at the most. So we're going to stop and get Harrison some nuggets. Hey guys, we are in Silverthorne, which is right next to Dillon, which is right next to where we're camping out. I think it's five or six miles up to our campsite. But Sean forgot his tennis shoes, so we have stopped at the outlet centers here. Excuse me. We have stopped at the outlet centers here for him to go look for a pair of shoes, tennis shoes. And um, wow, like it's so crowded. There are so many people out shopping. I can't believe how busy it is but summertime the mountains are really busy um, let me show you what I'm looking at though oh and let me tell you it was like almost 90 degrees it was so hot when we left the city and now it's like low 70s 70 and there's a breeze and it's so nice I mean like a 20 degree difference almost I think from the city so it's so nice let me show you what I'm looking at yep that's probably a 14er, maybe not quite, but probably. We're probably about nine to 10,000 feet right now. So anyway, I'm just waiting for Sean. Um, we're right next to the Nike outlet, so he went into Nike to see if he could find a pair of tennis shoes. Anyway, Sean just got back in the car, and he said the line is around the building, and he's just not gonna mess with it, so. Maybe we should go to Walmart. Our way up the mountain to our campsite because our campsite's on one mountain. It's not a big mountain, but a small mountain. And um, I'll show you. Our <coughs> this one right here is out of control today. He is cranky and tired and pitching fits. Mommy can't reach it. He just threw the iPad in the floor. Oh. Oh, cute little trailer. Oh my goodness. So I'm just waiting on Sean. Um, he's getting him some flip flops because he doesn't have any tennis shoes or anything other than his church shoes. And so um, anyway, I'm just sitting here looking at how busy it is here. And um, the mountain towns like this, this is a very touristy area. And summer is peak, and we are right in peak because we're right at the end of June, almost July. July is next week, and we are at peak season. And it's funny, I wonder if it would be different if it wasn't like if there was less restrictions. I don't think so. I think this is what it normally looks like. I don't think the restrictions have slowed anybody down when it comes to vacationing in the mountains. Um, you see campers in the parking lot, you see people like loading up um, ice and ice chests and their trucks and cars. Um, it's just a very touristy area. This is Frisco and it's just a couple miles from Dillon and from Silverthorne and it's right off I-70 and it's just a very very touristy um, area and we are maybe 10 or 15 minutes um, from Breckenridge. Um, this is the exit for Breckenridge so if we were to not turn to our campground uh, road and just go straight it's another maybe 10 maybe 15 minutes at the most we went actually went down to Breckenridge ridge when we were here last time in september um, and that's right this is the same campground that we came for our first 24 hours in the mountains back last september um, i'll link that up here or in the comments um, if you want to check out our first time here we're at the same campground because i had a lot of trouble finding campsites near like lakes and stuff that had hookups and so we will have electric tonight we really need electric until we get some kind of power source so we're going back to the same campground um, it's full uh, tonight so there was only a couple of sites when I booked mine so it's it's peak season it's busy oh yeah, yeah. they only have reused like you get to buy your bags here <laughs> Wow. we're just sitting here talking to the camera about 
like how busy it is. And I wonder if this is normal peak season or if it's even busier if it's not peak busier. season. I just got some water. I don't shoes. know. It's pretty busy. Like I see a lot of campers coming in Look. now. Yeah. What'd you get those for? Look, you comfortable enough? There weren't any other shoes. And I wasn't paying thirty dollars for skid proof shoes. All right, we are headed to our campsite. What? Are you the camp post? Where do we buy the firewood? Dude, there's this like bus next to us that's checking in and the guy, the camp post is measuring the, their length. But the whole side of their bus says, I'll have to check it out, it says everywhere.game. It says everywhere, real big on the side of their bus. And then it says everywhere.game right there. So Sean's just getting some uh, some bundles of firewood. They're... Are they too long? Yeah. But he has... I want you to check that out. Everywhere.game is the website. Keep right. We gotta go all the way around just to come right there. Installed bear boxes at every campsite. I've noticed they didn't have them last time we came, so I hope that doesn't mean there's more bear activity than there used to be. But that's good because it frees up room in our van for like our ice chest and our food stuff. We can put it in the bear box and not have to put it in our car. We are um, we are settled, but not completely done. We've got the main stuff done. It, there was thunder, so we put up the awning, this awning, as quick as we could over the back of the van and Matthew we have Matthew's sign hung up I'll take a picture of it later from the front and we've got our bed set up and Harrison is playing and then there's stuff all over the ground what baby really so it was pretty warm when we got here like, like it's way cooler here than it is in the city let me say that and you're stepping on my feet and I don't like it but um Oh, there's a big motor home. But um, it's it was warm when we were setting the tent up and getting the bed done. But now we've got cloud coverage and there's a breeze and it's actually really pleasant right now. Sean's itching. He's got this itching problem. Hopefully we'll get the doctor to do something about it. Anyway, this is what we're doing. Scooter doesn't do real well because the gravel's so thick right around our campsite. But this is um, our campsite. Uh, we have the fire pit with wood for all day tomorrow there's a grill over there if you wanted to use like a grill and then there's a bear box which that is new this year and then a the table so yeah you might want to explain what a bear box is a bear box is where you keep any food items ice chests or food items so that it doesn't draw the scent doesn't draw the bears Catch it. <laughs> I am laying in the van. Sean's sitting outside. Harrison's playing a little bit of everywhere with a little bit of everything. Ah! Sun is out. Um, we'll probably still have another hour, hour and a half before it sets. And uh, I kind of got 
everything um, set up in the van for tonight. I haven't put um, the window coverings for these two side windows because they're still out uh, to close them. I've got um, plus two, plus two. some stuff up here. Um, Harrison's bed. This is our feet. My feet are down here right now, but that's going to be our head of our bed. And then Harrison has a bed down there. And then we have this wonderful fan that is battery operated. It lasts 15 hours on low. It's fully charged. Some friends bought it and you know who you are if you're watching. And we are so excited and thankful that we have a fan. Um, we have electric cord in that window because Sean will be right there and he has his breathing machine. Um, so yeah, that's kind of our setup. That's the end of the bed where our my foot is, but that's where our head will be and then his bed is, is at the front. So yeah, I've already got my window covering up there, but not over here. So yeah, it's kind of mountains are out there and we're just kind of relaxing. And uh, we're relaxing. You and Harrison? No, don't hang from that, please. Oh, thank you. He's been a little bit of a tick to her tonight, but you ready to go night night? No. Are you sure? No. I want some chips. You want chips? All right, we're gonna go out there and Daddy with Daddy and set and eat them. You're not eating no more chips in here. So go sit by Daddy. Uh -huh. Okay, take your milk. Take your milk. And you've already got stuff. Oh, oh my goodness. Leave these alone. These are lights for nighttime. Okay. Take those chips. Okay. Go over Go over there and sit by daddy. He'll help you. Okay. Sit out there and eat them with your milk. You got it? Okay. I don't want them. You want them? Go sit in your chair. We got something, something in here. Ugh. Got these little lamps. But he's been playing with them. And I've got little lights here, along here, and then some. Here. <laughs> sitting here in my covers and there's no place better to wake up in your bed than the mountains and of course you can't really see the beauty of them in the camera Sean's itching this morning Get some milk hey he's got one more bottle worth okay he'll be fine here bub yeah, Harrison slept pretty good last night. He woke up once, but he went back to sleep really well. Our fan died a little earlier than it was supposed to. It lasted about, what's 6.30 to 3? Nine hours. Nine hours. It's supposed to last 15. But anyway, it's cool. We uh, I put it on the charger today. And uh, me and Sean, did you sleep good the hours that you slept? No. You did. Oh, cause Sean's all stopped up. I'm a little stopped up, but he's a lot of stopped up. Oh, oh. So I just thought I'd show you our, our bed waking up view. So we're just all set in the van. It's kind of cold out. It's cloudy. Whew, sorry. And, um, yeah, we're not in a hurry today. This is the first time that we're staying a second night. So we've got all the time in the world to do anything we want to do. So 
it's cold outside so we closed the door and we're just um chilling just chilling chillin'. yeah no it's not that bad but um we're all on our devices <laughs> we're all in the mountains on our devices and um just hanging out i think i could go back to sleep but you know it's just one of those things where it's like we've got time to do whatever we want to do today all day long so no hurries although my stomach did just growl really loud and that, that never happens to me <laughs> so hopefully it'll warm up a little bit we can it's really cloudy it's like cloud more cloudy now than it was when we got when we got up speaking of when we got up um Harrison woke up about 5 45 I think and so did we so the sun rises at 5 30 um here even at home so it gets daylight really early so we were up he went to bed a few hours before we did <sighs> so anyway um, yeah, what are we gonna do, baby? Freeze. <laughs> it's not that cold. Hey, got... That's not a pretty picture. <laughs> it's not that cold, especially with a blankie. But it's kind of chilly outside, so we just close the back door and just chilling. We'll see. Hopefully, the next clip will have scrambled eggs and bacon. So, we went back to sleep. Harrison did it. He's just watching his show. And playing with his cars. But, it's a little warmer outside. And it's 9 o'clock. And we are going to... Um, Sean's starting the fire. And we're going to make breakfast. So now i got to get up again. <laughs> Hey, <clears throat> Harrison, what is Daddy working on over there? Sticks. No. What have you been putting? Um, what have you been putting sticks in? <coughs> Bless you. Cat fire. Whoa, Bubba, look! Don't let go. Yeah, it's gonna go bye bye if you do. He might think that's fun. Hey, let's sit on the bench. Because he does that with balloons. You wanna go higher? Paw Patrol kite. It's really windy today too. Hey, when it starts going down, look, you pull. Look at you. Get some more out. Wow. Good job. 
job, bub. He's doing this, Lynette. Not yeah. So we're just relaxing. Um, we just went on a little walk around the property here. Let me kind of give you a little bit. Of, we walked down that road a little bit and up. And then there's a loop that we're on. So we um, went around the loop a couple of times actually. And um, yeah, it was fun. <clears throat> yeah, we're just sitting here like it's, um, it's really pretty out. But when the sun is like out, out full and it's not partly cloudy, it's a little intense. It feels like it's 90 degrees, but it's not. It's probably not even 70 yet because the high is 72 today. But, um, but yeah, in the shade, it's a really cool breeze. It's really nice. So we're just sitting here relaxing. There's not much to vlog. It's like 12.50 and we're just relaxing. So there's not a whole lot to vlog. Um, we're just taking it easy because we can. We don't have to do anything today. So we're just relaxing. So. I have not vlogged much because there is nothing to vlog. We have really done nothing but set, cook a little bit, set. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Me and Sean haven't felt the best today, and that just kind of stinks. But um, anyway, it's just good to be with family. Harrison's had fun playing. Now he's in for the night, and he's getting a little bit of iPad time and some cracker time before he goes to sleep. And... Um, Sean is still outside. Um, it is raining kind of off and on. Not real hard, but um, it's cooled things down a whole lot. So it's just really nice. And, um, Thank the Lord. <laughs> yeah, it's just really nice um, and relaxing right now. So anyway, um, I'm not so sure there's going to be a whole lot more for you to see. And uh, we'll just call it a day. I'll say goodbye to you in the morning. But um, that's pretty much it for today. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. I need to segue out of this video. And Monday we were there all day. And Tuesday morning we woke up. I woke up really early, about 4 o'clock, because I couldn't sleep. And I don't have time to tell you why. It would be a funny story, but uh, maybe I'll do that in another video. <laughs> But, because this video is already too long. But Tuesday morning, we uh, were planning on getting up, packing up, and going home. And I woke up about 4 o'clock. Couldn't sleep. It looked like it was going to be a pretty sunrise. So, I uh, it was starting to look like, like in the east, it was really starting to get pretty. It was starting to light up the clouds. Um, but I only had a way to put my camera in the window on the west side. So, it would have been the mountains that the sun would have been hitting. So, I 
uh, I finally was able about 5.30, between 5.30 and 6 to be able to go back to sleep. And so I stuck my camera in the window and did a time lapse. Looked like everything was gonna be a beautiful morning and things changed. As you see in the time lapse, the clouds started coming in and they started coming in and they started coming in and it started raining and it was cold um, and it was just, obviously when I woke up about, oh, about 6.37, uh, I could tell that it was gonna be a yucky morning. And um, so the next clip that you see is Sean. Bless his heart, he's such a good husband. He made her, me and Harrison sit in the front seat and he packed the entire car in the cold rain and uh, it was a lot on him. He was freezing because for some reason I took no jackets, no sweats, all he had was a shorts and t-shirt. Um, that's the way it is in the mountains. Lesson learned, you have to prepare for all weather seasons. And so he frigidly froze to death and packed that car up. And then we were able to pull out and leave and come home. So yeah, it's it was just a crazy morning. I didn't really do much taping except for that little clip, but I wanted to let you know how that morning went and um, and that we were able to get out fine and, and, and everything. But yeah, it was kind of miserable for Sean that morning leaving. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like these camping videos, give me a big thumbs up. It'll help me out. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Um, that way when we upload a video, you'll know about it. And we love to do camping videos. That's kind of what I've been doing more of the last year. But we love to camp and love to, to show our camping adventures. So um, that's all I've got for you now. I know this was kind of a long video. I apologize. Usually they're not that long. But um, I kind of didn't want to uh, get rid of any of the content. So anyway, I will see you guys on our next video. Bye. All right, we are heading out of the campground. I just had to show you this. It's a rainy morning. I'll tell you more about it later. It's a nasty morning, but uh, cold and rainy and nasty. But look at this. It's like another country right here.